shows that we can all get involved. In fact, I first met her as an activist like many of you. I, I feel kind of strange that uh, I've known Ken Cuccinelli before he ran for office. I know uh, I knew, knew Christine before she ran for office many years ago. And as I was joking about her earlier, you should all get involved in conventions and conferences. You never know who you might meet and um, where they might end up with the friends that you make. But we need every politician and every candidate we have. I've worked for some of you, Dick Black's campaign and other people, and we need the numbers to get majorities and to, and to win. But there are a few who are like the special forces. There's a few soldiers, a few heroes, who will storm the enemy stronghold, but right where the enemy is strongest. And those people are more than just heroes. There are some who fight, who, who hunt the big game in, in areas of hostility. Christine O'Donnell was asked in 2007 by members of the Republican Party of the Delaware to run against Joe Biden for the U.S. Senate. Um, easy stuff, right? <laughs> Guy who's been, who's been in office for decades, um, who is well-established, presidential candidate on many senior committees in the United States Senate, um, and well-established throughout the, that state. In 2008, she was nominated at the nominating convention in Delaware, and they have both a nominating convention and potentially a primary. Nobody challenged her for the primary in September 2008, as I recall. Um, and she appeared on the general election ballot alongside of our, of the Republican candidate for president, John McCain, and Delaware's candidate for governor, Judge Lee. Christine was great in 08. Everybody thought she was wonderful, good enough to be alongside our presidential candidate, something. Something changed. I, I'm not quite sure what it was. I'm a little confused about what happened between 2008 and 2010. But I know it wasn't Christine. But this is someone, yes, yeah, she's run before. That's because she takes on the tough fights. She's gone after the big game in hostile territory with 110,000 vote advantage of the Democrats over the Republicans. I first met Christine O'Donnell at CPAC, a conservative political action conference in 2002-2003, I'm not sure. Go to it, yes, you never know who you're going to meet. And, um, you know, people say you can tell what someone authentically believes when they are not being watched, when nobody cares, nobody's watching, on their own time, on their own dime. And that's how I know Christine O'Donnell, an activist when there's no media, nobody watching, nobody caring, but just because she cares and is a passionate advocate for our, our beliefs for constitutional government, for conservative values, for American exceptionalism. I've known her over the years, I tell you when the media is watching or not, Christine is always the same. Um, Steve Hunt and Monique Hunt, I told you I was going to talk about you right behind you, they told us about DC Rockfest, where years ago there was an annual, there, uh, <laughs> there was an annual, there was an annual, um, rock festival in, in, in uh, D.C., and they would have liberal organizations that would, that would expose our young people and young adults to, uh, to liberal ideas. So Christine took the lead to get conservative organizations and conservatives down there to, to set up booths. You forgot about that, eh? To, to, thanks, thanks to Stephen and Monique. Um, that to, to, to bring them and, and share conservative ideas on the other side of the story to our young people and young adults. It was interesting because I was at the Republican advance and both Steve and Monique independently told me the same story in different rooms because they were so impressed by that. Again, no media, nobody watching, just because she cared. I've known Christine over the years in many ways. One, of course, she created a national organization overnight, SALT. People talk about accomplishments, but if you haven't gone out and tried to get your message out in the media, you don't know what, uh, what I mean. You try it sometime. With, with no resources on a shoestring budget, Christine created SALT and was a national voice, as, as I think Congressman was a, a state legislature, um, Lingenfelder was uh, saying to us, um, every time I was on at home watching, you know, working on, on my office and have TV on the background, Christine's always on TV. Um, you know, it's like, see, I used to call my sister and say, oh, she, Christine's, Randall, Christine's on TV again. But it became so routine. Um, on CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, and uh, you try it sometime. Um, so she created a national voice on nothing with very little effort. I've known Christine as a businesswoman. You don't know this, but I looked through my law office files in my um, law office computer. I have a folder, O'Donnell, comma, Christine, dash business, where I've got contracts that she asked me to, to, to look at in 2004, 2005 for her marketing and public relations work, um, reviewing one, one business and, and giving her a template for others in the future. I knew her, for one pro knew her in one project that she was working on along those lines. 
uh, under subcontract to Icon Productions on The Passion of the Christ. Now, I should have learned something from that. If you may remember, the Hollywood establishment, the Hollywood elite, the insiders, the lords of the back room in Hollywood said, no, we're not going to make this movie. We don't want to make this movie. And a band of mavericks led by Mel Gibson said, we're going to make it anyway. And if you know what it make, takes to make a movie, there are, I've been out in L.A., there are hundreds of movies that are made every year that nobody ever hears about. Get, get just having it in the can is, is, is a small problem. Getting it distributed into the theaters and marketed is a huge problem that many hundreds of movies each year never accomplish. I remember hearing the, the updates coming in from, from Christine, her ma you know, mass distribution, what was going on before it came out, all the updates, what was happening. And I was thinking, I don't know. I hope these people aren't disappointed. Because this is impossible. How are they going to do this? I don't know. And I was thinking that, um, you know, this is going to... You can't go outside the establishment and produce, release a movie. Of course, they blew the doors off. It was not only a, a gigantic success, huge success, smash success, but unprecedented because you, they went outside the system. Again, I should have known. I should have known what kind of things we could expect. Um, Christine O'Donnell worked at the Republican National Committee under Haley Barber, working, helping develop and, and implement the, the uh, marketing strategy that helped bring about the 1994 takeover of the U.S. House by the Republicans, and it also set up the 1995 uh, Republican Revolution thereafter. She worked at Concerned Women for America, um, one of the largest, or actually the largest political women's organization in, a, in America, and we were trying to figure out probably the world which is interesting because, you know, conservative women are ignored, as we saw in this last election round. But they're the biggest, um, not now or the others. She planned and implemented the 50th anniversary gala for the Economically Oriented Intercollegiate Studies Institute, um, attended by 1,100 speakers, Antonin Scalia, Senator Trent Lott, Senator um, Santorum, and a video addressed by George Bush, widely praised as their best ever. It was her, her project doubled the uh, media um, results from that organization in six months. She has been an advocate in the United Halls of the United Nations for policies and, 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 pol and programs of American values and, and conservative traditions trying to shape their programs and policies. She's been an advocate in the Halls of Congress. Probably had, um, more, well, we have a lot of distinguished guests. I'm trying to say she's had more experience in shaping legislation than her Democratic opponent, but since he had absolutely none, I don't know exactly how to say that. Yeah. Um, but, but she's had years and years of, of experience um, shaping and influencing legislation, including by, by promoting which legislation gets, gets passed. She became an advocate in the, in, the, you know, in the Delaware legislature in Dover for conservative values and tra American traditions and became to, came to be um, specializing in issues of bioethics, the, the morality of, of medical experimentation. Now, for some of you who only know her through the news, you know, that may come as a bit of a surprise. And I will digress. I've had a little bit of a chance to talk to Christine since the election, and one of those conversations, she was a bit distracted because she's printing stuff out on the computer um, to go to the gym for light reading. Sorry. Um, I've got to tell the story. So she, she's, she's printing out two papal encyclicals on the morality and, and ethics of economic systems. Now, most people go to the gym and read People magazine or Us magazine. And I swear to God, I, you know, I'd like to take a, a lie detector test because here I am, I'm trying to carry on it. While I'm carrying on a conversation with her, she's printing out papal encyclicals to go to the gym and, and study up on the morality of, and philosophy of, of, of alternative economic systems. So out of, out of her work there in, um, in the, Del the Delaware legislature, people started to ask her, why don't you run for office? Um, and the re I won't go into the, to what you've all seen so much uh, in, in the news. I'm just going to... In, going to <laughs> you okay? <laughs> so anyway, our next speaker has joined a very unique club. Around the world, anywhere there is news, there are people who are known only by one name. <laughs> Hillary, Newt, Oprah, used to be Cher, <laughs> now it's Christine. Amazingly, anywhere there is news around, or news around the world, yeah, if, you, if you say Christine, people know who that is. And we are beyond honored 
to have this international star here tonight to be able to address us on the future of our country as the fight that goes on. Thank you very much. Our next speaker, Christine O'Donnell.